Well, it feels good to be back. So today we're going to be talking about some more Spidey news. Specifically, why Spider-Man Far From Home is the official last movie of Marvel's Phase 3. And I got all the explanation right here from the man himself who heads the MCU, Kevin Feige. More right after the intro. Hey guys, welcome to News to the Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. Here, bringing you an update as to why Spider-Man Far From Home is the last official movie in Marvel's Phase 3. A while back, I did a video talking about how Spider-Man Far From Home is going to be the last official film for Marvel's Phase 3, but I never got to explain why. We finally got an official answer from Kevin Feige himself, so let's jump right into it and talk about it. It's a bit of a short one, but I kind of figured I'd like to talk about it because it's a pretty interesting article bring you this article from a Blair Marnell, which was posted today online from Superhero Hype. It says, While Avengers Endgame wrapped up the story of Thanos and the Infinity Stones, there is still one more film in Marvel's Phase 3, Spider-Man Far From Home. For months, Marvel Studios' Kevin Feige has insisted that Far From Home is the real ending for the Infinity Saga. Now, a week before the film's release, Feige is explaining why this movie had to be the concluding chapter. As we were working on Endgame, we realized that the true end of the entire Infinity Saga, the final film of Phase 3, had to be Spider-Man Far From Home because, spoiler, if you haven't seen Endgame, what is wrong with you? Go see it. We lose Tony Stark at the end of Endgame, said Feige, while speaking with comicbook.com. The relationship between Peter Parker and Tony Stark is so special over the five films that Tom Holland has portrayed Spider-Man in the MCU that we needed to see where his journey went and see how does Spider-Man step out of the shadow of his mentor, Tony Stark, and become the true hero that he was always meant to be. And it's for the reason that Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home are essentially two pieces of the same story, continued Feige. It's not over yet until Spider-Man Far From Home. Ever since Endgame hit theaters, Far From Home's marketing campaign has played up Stark's death and its impact on Peter. Spidey is feeling the pressure to step up and fill the void left by Iron Man. However, that's not necessarily what Peter wants to do. Spider-Man needs to carve out his own legend in the MCU. That's probably what Feige means by Peter becoming the true hero that he was always meant to be. So Spider-Man Far From Home again will hit theaters on Tuesday, July 2nd. Are you eager to see Peter realize his true destiny? You let me know in the comment section down below. So to touch up on a little on uh, Spider-Man becoming a true legendary hero as he's well known in the comics. I gotta sneeze. Nope, it's not there. Sorry for digressing there for a second. Anyways, as I was saying, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, is a well-known legend, and of course, the face of Marvel, and he's a really good mentor to a lot of superheroes out there. And IE example would be Miles Morales, because Peter Parker is a mentor to Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and he has still been a mentor to many other younger, youngling superheroes per se, in Marvel Comics. And the cool thing about it, and Marvel has an advantage to this, is that Tom Holland himself started out as a young actor to portray Spider-Man, and we see him actually growing within the MCU. And that's pretty exciting, because he's essentially growing into the character of Spider-Man. And what better way to do that than to hire a kid who was practically young when he was around like maybe 18 or 19 or so when he first started playing Spider-Man, a teenager to play Peter Parker and essentially learn from mentors like Tony Stark and other superheroes who are already adults in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And then he can take what he has learned and apply that when he becomes a mentor and to teach other young superheroes. And it's a whole cycle thing, you know, it kind of, it's, you know, it comes around full circle and it's pretty cool to see that. So again, I think Spider-Man Far From Home will be the defining moment of Peter Parker where he truly realizes his potential and truly realizes what his legacy is and that is to become a true legend, make himself to become an example of what it means to be a superhero and set that standard moving forward to any future younger superheroes to come and he does so by teaching what he has learned and what he has experienced growing up becoming a superhero and 
I think it's great that you got that explanation. Because the Infinity Saga, as we know it, is already over. And I kind of ended with Endgame in a way. Because there's not going to be any Infinity Stones involved in Spider-Man Far From Home. Not that we know of. Because the Infinity Stones have already been returned to the rightful place back in Endgame when Captain America went back in time to different timelines to return the stones where they first appeared. That's over. Thanos is defeated. Tony Stark died. The Infinity Stones have been returned from once they came. And it's over. And now we're going to close out this huge saga the final chapter with spider-man far from home realizing his potential and realizing who he has to become to become the ideal superhero and that's great to hear and see that we're going to be getting that in spider-man far from home and i'm hearing many good things about spider-man far from home the early reviews the embargo reviews have been already been released and people are saying that it's right up there with spider-man 2 so it kind of makes me a lot more eager to go see spider-man far from home at first i wasn't too excited, but nonetheless, still excited enough to go see it because it's Spider-Man. But when I hear that this movie is right up there with Spider-Man 2, arguably the best superhero movie ever made, it's it's a win-win. It it's definitely has uh, increased my anticipation and made me more eager to go see it. And I definitely cannot wait to go see it next week. So you guys let me know your thoughts about Spider-Man Far From Home being the final film in the Infinity Saga. You comment down below. What do you expect to see in Spider-Man Far From Home? How will Peter grow? And let me know your thoughts. And are you going to go see Spider-Man Far From Home? You can comment down below. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. And as always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.